Hi, welcome to another development tip. Today we're going to look at an ASP.NET Core 2.2 app with Entity Framework Core. So today's topic will be talking about how we store enums in a database. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do integer values, which if you just look at a data by itself, you have to know what those integer values correspond to, or you can actually store the strings. Uh, what I want to show today is how you can actually use that enum type at, on the entity and never really know what's actually being converted when you're in your code because you don't really care about that abstraction layer. So just to start, we can look at what our project looks like. We have one entity, which will be our table. It's a candidate with ID, a string name, and a party, which is type of enum. So if you look at the party, we have five listed, unknown, Democrat, Republican, independent, and other. So if we go look at our context, you'll see we have one DB set of candidate, and then we're also doing some configuration. Uh, I covered this in another video, so if you want to see that, check out my past videos for this. It's just allowing you to easily manage your configurations. So if we go look at our configuration, right now we have nothing in there. We'll be changing that. So if we, we also are seeding our database, I am putting four candidates on there during startup, and we have the party unknown, etc. And that's happening in our program.cs in between the configuration and running the website. So if you want to see what this is all about, I talked about this in a past video as well. So let's start by running this and see what our database looks like. So I'm saying start in debug. So while it's running, we will jump over and we'll look at the console to see what the output looks like. As you can see, you can see our selects and inserts for our seeding. So now let's go look at the table. So if we run this, run this select statement, you will see we have four records, which was correct. And we have four names and then four parties. So as you can see, we have the parties as the integer value. When looking at this, you really can't tell what party they belong to because, well, you need to know what that maps to in the application code. So let's change that. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop these tables just so we don't have to run migrations for this video. So I drop that, and if we run another run, we get an error, which is good. So let's go look at how we could configure that property on the entity on candidate to be used strings instead. So I'm using a identity type for configuration for candidate. So if you look at the builder for the property on the builder or on the entity of party, we want to say it has a conversion. And what we want to do is we want to say the conversion is to a string. So we'll say the conversion dot to string. Now, if we look at the second parameter, it's talking about a convert from provider expression. So what we're doing is we're actually converting it from, if you look at what C is right here, it's a string. So we're saying we're converting C from this type of enum. So what we need to do is we need to do an enum parse. So we are parsing to party for the value of the string C. So let's just kind of go over this again. For this property, party on this entity candidate we have a conversion for it the conversion is to the string value of it and how we get to that string value is from parsing from the enum party so now when we run this we should see in the database that we have instead of 0, 1, 2, 4 we should have unknown democrat republican and other if I remember correctly so let's go see what it looks like now all right, you can see in the SQL statement down here that it looks like it ran. So now let's go run the query. As you can see here, we have the parties in the string formats. So now whenever you're doing some kind of query for it, you will now be able to, to do enum comparisons instead of string or integer comparisons pretty easily and make the data in your database more readable. Um, the code for this is in GitHub. You can find the link in the description. And if you have any questions, feedback, or anything like that, 
Um, you can leave a comment or you can find me on Twitter at alwill underscore dot net. All right. Thank you.